Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. This video, we're going to be opening another Goodwill Blue Box jewelry. It's the five pound repurposed lot. I am a full time reseller. I sell on eBay, Poshmark, a little bit on Mercari, and, and I have an antique booth. And I will be selling jewelry out of this lot. Jeez. So if you're interested, another chance resale one at gmail.com. Please email me. Email only. Make sure you put that one in there. And uh, let's get on in it. So I still have my little pile of single earrings over here um, from the last box. And I'll put a link to that up here. Um, hopefully the, you know, since I bought these two lots together, well, at the same time that the mates are in here, otherwise that'll be really sad because I think I only found like one matching pair of earrings. So that'll be a bummer. All right. So let's look at this first because it is all plastic beads and extremely long. Hopefully we won't have any ginormous tangles like we did in the last one. So this is super long. Wow. It's probably like two feet long. Um, it's in good condition, but it's not something I'm interested in selling. So um, this will just go into a mystery lot or if somebody wants it, you know, to craft with, let me know. So that's not going to be sold online for me so let's look at this one now this is also plastic but this one does have a clasp it doesn't say anything which I don't get why necklaces have clasps when they're this long you can just pop it over your head <laughs> but it's another one that's about two feet long but these beads are pretty cool. They got like some red in it and some black and some green. So this is pretty cool. Um, I would do both of these for like three bucks a piece. <clears throat> and this is a pretty cute little brooch. No markings, just a nice little silver wreath. I would do three on this or like maybe $12.99. Oh, I just found a sewing needle. That could have been dangerous. Put that on the side. So this is pretty. Let's see if we have any markings. No, which that stinks because this is cute. It almost looks like crucifix, like little small little crosses in there. Um, this is nice. So it's in really good condition. So I can probably do, I'll do five or probably $14.99 online. <clears throat> okay. Hopefully we won't be getting a lot of beaded things. Here's a hair, get rid of that. Let's look at this. Oh, so this looks like real clovers in there, except they're not four leaf, <laughs> which is kind of weird to save. Um, that's pretty cool how it's like a shadow box almost. Pretty cool. So I would do three on this, or like maybe 10 bucks online. Oh, this one's pretty. So somebody definitely handmade this. I can see some type of signature and it's made out of like a plaster. It's a brooch and a pendant, except there is a little chunk missing out of the top. However, it's not really that bad. So this is actually really nice. Um, I don't know if I would sell it though because of the chip, um, but if anyone was interested, I would just do like two bucks
this one. So here we have another beaded thingamabobby that's going to go into crafting. This looks like it broke. Um, just another plastic bead to go into crafting. This looks like it could be kind of cool. Uh, hang on here. Almost clear. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's going on? Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, wow. That's quite lovely. And it says something inside each of these little danglies. Um, it almost looks like a butterfly, but I'm not really sure. This is pretty cool. So that's definitely unique. Yeah. Oh geez, that's really strong. So I would probably sell this, I would do like eight bucks for you guys and probably upwards of 30 online because this is pretty different. So that's that. All right, here's the tangles. Let's try to get you out. I think it's this one gold. Oh, did you guys, so today's Cyber Monday. Did you guys see the Goodwill blue box they released, the premium jewelry box that had a value of $500. So get this. I was like, all right, it's gotta be like a hundred bucks, $200. And the box only consisted of three pieces. What? Like what? I don't think so. This is really cool. If anyone knows that stone, that's awesome. So yeah, the um I'll sell this to somebody if they want it. Um I was like, alright, you know, if it's a hundred, I could probably swing that. But then I saw that it was two hundred and I was like, ha, yeah, right. And then I saw that it was only three pieces. I was like, nope, click out. <laughs> like, what are they thinking? So yes, it does say that like, you know, it's it consists of 14 carat or 18 carat gold, you know, blah, 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 whatever. Sorry, that's just not good enough for me. Like three pieces for $200. I don't know. The risk is too great. Let me just pop this back in here. But let me know if anyone got it because I can't afford 200 bucks. If it was a hundred, maybe. So if anyone gets one or if you guys um, see anybody that posts their unboxing in like a week or two weeks, let me know. I wanna watch it. Okay, so this is really cute. This is like a grape cluster brooch. It's very, very cool. Very vintage. I like that. Yeah. Oh, I like it a lot. So this I would probably do eight for you guys and like 25 online. Let's see what this is. This is cool. I don't really know what it is, <laughs> but if anyone wants it, these two probably like five bucks a piece. I don't know. 
email me. We'll talk about it. All right, let's look at this. This looks very um, Southwest. It's giving me nice little Aztec vibes. Um, it is multi-strand up here. But what is... Oh, that's a separate necklace. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? Okay, so this is cool. Let me see if there's anything missing. I don't believe so. It's in okay shape. There's just a little bit of wear, like, right over here. But other than that, it looks pretty good. This part is in okay shape. Just needs a, new, a nice little bath, I think. So um, I would do five on this for anybody or like $12.99 online. So this little chain, you can definitely see the disgusting color changing doo doo -ness. So we're just gonna put that into craft. This is cool. So this is very different. I like that little hook clasp. These are metal. These are metal beads with the brown in the middle. Hmm. I like it. <clears throat> it looks very um like ancient Egypt kind of sorta. Of. <laughs> So I would do five on this and probably like $16.99 online. We have some Mardi Gras beads. We have also some Thunder. It's been raining in New York all day. Very windy. And just as I was sitting down to record this, um, there was a bunch of lightning and now it's thundering, so, but that's fine. I like a good thunderstorm. Yeah, it's definitely this gold one that's getting everything all messed up, but that's a single earring we'll put to the side. This is going to go into craft. I hope we can find some mates here because we have a lot of single earrings. I like this one. This one's very cool. Oh, this is pretty, but it's just, I just gotta reattach the jump ring here. Actually, yeah, it just has to be, I'm, oh, it's missing one. All right, I'll have to see if it's in the bag, but I don't, I don't have any jump rings, so. But that is really pretty. Somebody should buy this from me and fix it, and then they can resell it. I would do three bucks if somebody can fix that. Let's look at this. This is a really big wrist. <laughs> okay, so let's look at it. No markings. It's not David Yerman. It's missing a bunch of stones. It's not magnetic, but I don't think that it's anything. It's rubbing off red. Yep, it is nothing. So this will just go into craft because it's missing stones. All right, let's see what you are with your white chain. All right, well, firstly, First and foremost, there is matching Clippy. And it's Crown Trafari. So I'm assuming this will be Crown as well. Oh, they actually clipped the Clippies in the necklace. That's kind of smart. Unless it was the person that donated it that did it. But there's the clip-ons. And then here is, yeah, see, the little crown shafari key. It looks like a key, but it's a T with a crown. Um, there is definitely some green. Um, it's like really in there. Let me see it. I don't know. It's all over. So I might have to chuck, ooh, you 
guys hear that? Ooh, I'm so excited. I love thunderstorms. That was a loud one. It rattled my windows. Okay, so I'm going to have to just throw this out. It's just not, it's not in good shape. If somebody wants it to try to clean it, you can have it for a dollar. But I will keep the earrings to sell those. Those are very cute. Um, three bucks. Nah, four bucks. Four bucks is fair. We're $12.99 online. All right, this little thing is uh, broke up of something. Uh, yeah, that's just gonna go into craft. So we have a little Hamsa, stretchy, with um, some type of saying here. So if anyone's interested in this, it's gonna go in craft, but all my craft stuff is a dollar a piece. So this is really pretty, except the the poor clasp is bent. That was a fish hook. Actually, no, it's not a fish hook. I'm trying to bend it back. That may have done it. But I'll fire up Pressy. Maybe this is Jade. It's definitely cold to the touch and feels like stone with the pretty vintage clasp. No maker, let's see if this works. Oh no, it is a fish hook. So you would slip it in the side. Come on. Like that, and then push it in. Yay. All right, so let's just Test this out really quickly. No. So I mean, it's right in the middle of the emerald. Mm, let's try that again. Actually, not really. It's really not in anything. So, garnet, tourmaline, and eyelet, I would say. Mm, I don't really know. What do you guys think? There could be others, like, it could be something that's not on here that's registering as, like, a, um, like a characteri characteristic or, like, a same class as. So, if anyone has an idea of what you think this might be. You can put it in the comments. All right, let's try to tackle this big mess. This is just going to go into craft. <clears throat> so there's like this little piece of like some kind of wood or some something right here. Try to get that out. I think it's like tangling everything up. Uh. Almost. Yee. Okay, so this was an earring, but I guess I bent it up. So that's just going to go into craft. <laughs> Weird. Here's the other one. And this is the other Mardi Gras bead we'll go into craft. Oh, that was just really big lightning. Really bright lightning. Let's wait for the thunder. Here it comes. All right, it's still going. Wow. <laughs> okay, this looks like something I don't feel like detangling, and it's broken. 
So that'll go into craft. What is this? A broken necklace. Okay, this, I guess somebody was trying to sell it for 150 and their initial is S. I don't know, maybe at a tag sale. That's just gonna go into craft. Here's some beads we're gonna put into craft. I see another one right here. Well, oh, here's the culprit. So this was a Coro necklace. It is no more. All right, now this, oh, this looks like a, oh, there's two, two things in one here. Here's that one that is causing all the problems. Well, it has a brand, oh, it's J. Crew. J. Crew. It's not. Look at that. I was fooled. It's Bobble Bar. <laughs> you guys. That was so funny. Fooled, I tell ya. Alright, I don't know what's going on here, but I think it's broken. Let me just see. Oh, maybe not. Wait, why is it so... Guys, I don't know. I don't think it's broken. But it's got like this choker part up here. And then these little tassels that hang lower. So, I mean, it's cute. Oh, never mind. I'm really confused. They're not together. <laughs> I don't know. And then here's the chain right here with the, I don't know. It's in good shape. I'm putting it into mystery. Somebody else can figure it out. Or if you guys know what it is and want it, it'll be four bucks. All right, let's look at this. This is a headband, but it's definitely seen better days with all the wear of the metal. So that will go into craft. This is J. Crew. <laughs> that was funny. Um, but it's broken. So craft lot goes. This is like a seed necklace. That'll just go into craft. Earring. This looks like it's about to bust any second, so I'm putting that right into craft. Craft. It's kind of weird. This looks like the mouthpiece that they give you at the dentist's office with that fluoride stuff on it. That makes me gag. So we're just going to put that in, <laughs> in craft. Wow, look at this. I mean, this looks fun. What the, what is this? Oh gosh. What, like, what is that? That's gonna go right into crafting. Oh look, there's a jump ring. So this one looks pretty promising. No maker, but that is very pretty. It's got like this um, cat eye type of bead with some browns and amber colors. <clears throat> it looks like it would be sterling, but it's not marked. And that's definitely not a, you know, a normal chain for a, uh, normal clasp. Jeez, I hate doing... Let's just see quickly. 
No, it's not. It's not. So um, I'm just gonna put this into craft because it is just not really in the best of condition with the chain. This is a cute little rose. It is NR for Avon, for Avon so um, Nina Ricci. I mean, I, I think I've found like five of these in the past couple of months. So that's gonna go right into mystery. Somebody else can have one. <clears throat> this is gonna go into mystery. Or like three bucks if you guys want it. All right, this is a single earring. Something is losing. Oh, it's probably from this. All these. All right. Who's texting me? It's Kimmy. <laughs> um, this looks like a bra. Oh my God, I think it is. <laughs> this is great. So here. There's the top part. Here's the bra. I mean, this would be a little, a little chilly, you know? And then this goes around your back side. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's, it's definitely detached. Oh, I'm not in frame. It's definitely detached a little. Um, yeah, I mean, if I was still going to the clubs, I might wear this. <laughs> So it's gonna go into um, crafting. Somebody can probably use that. There's no maker mark. It's just a probably from Claire's or something of the sort. This is just a little bangle. Ba -ba -ba, crafting. Here's more of this. Crafting. This is cute, a little Celtic pin with the um, little Celtic knots. It, uh, I mean, it, it used to have a mark, but it looks a little faded. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna be able to read that. Nope. So if anyone's interested, I would do a five on this or probably $12.99 online. That says M in there. It's one of those here, 24 karat electroplated. Hmm. But I, I bet you it still won't go for that much online because the 18 karat electroplated is like 20 bucks. But we'll see. Ooh, this is cute, except this is gross. So this will go right into craft. More craft. This is a cute little sunflower pin. From the Met Metropolitan. What else does that say? Oh, made in China. Okay. So that's cute. I would do like two bucks on that. There's another single earring. I'm kind of losing hope on my single earrings here. This will go into craft. This is pretty. Let's get this out of here. So this looks like a necklace. There's definitely some doo-doo on there. I have to clean that up. What is this? There's like something, oh, there we go. <laughs> Looks like one of these little guys, but they're all here. I think this is just a fashion piece. It doesn't feel like it's in good condition, I mean, good uh, quality, but it is very pretty. I don't know, it's been repaired right there because it's not even gold, it's a silver jump ring. And it broke or something happened right here. 
I don't know, guys. This is a whole, this is a mess all in its own. Um, I think these are just glued in. If somebody wants to fix this, that'd be cool. But I really don't have time or know how that would even get fixed. So that's on you guys if you want it. Wow, I mean, this, what is this? This looks like a Christmas ornament. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, it's cool. It's in good condition with these little shells. So if anybody wants it, do three bucks. So this is another earring. No idea what that says. Ellen Dem. There's nothing in it. Okay. Oh, this would have been cool, except it's all, it's all messed up. This looks like somebody spilt paint on it. Yeah, that's just going to go into craft. This is Monet. It's in pretty good condition actually in really good condition little gold tone spiral ball bead I think they're metal I would do five on that or $14.99 online what is in this little baggie a sun choker I would probably do like four bucks or $12.99 online This, I don't like that. I'm, I'm putting that into mystery. <clears throat> but I would do four if anyone was interested. Oh, I was going to say an empty baggie. Great. <laughs> Maybe some of these will be precious metal. I doubt it just by looking at them. These look like um, little toe rings, which is kind of gross. Yeah. They're all peeling on the inside. They're definitely not anything special, so they'll go into craft. All right, we're almost, we're about 75% through. I mean, this is not jewelry, but okay. In the United We Stand. It's a magnet. So if anybody would like that, I'd probably just do two bucks. Craft. This is an interesting earring. I'll have to do some research on that. Well, you know, if there's another one. Here's a little snowflake brooch, but it's missing two, three of the stones. Yeah, that's gonna go into craft. Well, that's cute, craft. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it's got some type of plastic around it and that's kind of gross, so we're throwing that out. Uh, craft. This is cool. This looks like it would be J. Crew, but there's no um, tag. It just has the little lifesaver clasp. It's cool, but the chain is very worn. Very, very, where you can see all that copper coming through. Um, yeah, it's just not in good condition. And it does, you know what? It doesn't feel like the quality of J. Crew, so that makes me okay with putting it into the craft. 
So this is another single earring. This one's cool. I'm afraid I'm not going to have any matches, guys. Ooh, this is pretty. I don't know what that is. It's really hard. I was I would say plaster, but I'm not really sure about that. These are glass beads. They're black with like a purple cat eye almost. You guys see that? The chain is in not the best condition, but it's a very cool necklace. I like it. I like it. So it just needs a nice little bath, and I would do probably like five bucks, I guess. We'll keep it, we'll keep it cheap. This one I can see says Express. That's sweet. It's in good condition. A little uh, sunflower, do five bucks for $12.99. Here's another earring, cheese Louise. Where are, where are the mates? Where are they? Somebody should open up their Goodwill lot and see that they have all my mates and then we can work something out. <laughs> All right, this bangle is stuck in here, but neither of them I think are anything crazy. Let me try to get this out. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That's a dub. And that's a dub. Oh, this one is nice, but there's no maker mark. I'll put that into mystery. Here's another one of those weird wire things. Very interesting. Craft. Oh, look, a little scarab. I like the scarab, but I don't like the bracelet. <laughs> um, I wish I can get that out of there and make it a brooch. But if you guys want it, I would do two bucks. Here's a little airplane tie tack. It says it's sterling, so that's cool. I'll probably just throw it in my um, sterling scrap. This says Agatha. <laughs> Looks like a child bracelet. It's got pretty stones. Maybe it's sterling. Ooh, it might be. Let's fire Pressy back up to see if these stones mean anything. I don't know if I can get a scratch on this. This is like a weird... I don't know if that's going to work. I don't want to bend it. Yeah, it's definitely sterling. Actually, I don't know. I can't get it to scratch enough to tell, but let's see. Let's just check out a, a stone really quick. No. Nope, these are all just... Oops, these are all just regular... So I'm going to say that it's not sterling since, you know, if, you, if you're questioning it, then it's not it. It would definitely be, it would definitely show sterling. So that's cute, but um, I'll just put that into mystery. All right, now what's going on here? Let's get this out of here before somebody gets hurt. Uh, get back in there, little guy before you prick somebody. You guys won't go back in. Come on, all right, there it goes. Cute, three bucks, anyone's interested. All right, now this. Let's get this chain out of here. This is nothing, right? Actually, 
whatever. So this is broken, cause look, right there. But these are glass. And guys, check out that clasp. Holy moly. Like, look at how pretty that is. Ugh. That kills me. Wow. Like, I want to make that into a brooch or a ring. No, not a ring. That'd be a little... Talk about gaudy. But that's awesome. I really like it. I'm sad. I don't think it's precious metal. It's not marked. And that's all kind of doo-dooed. I think I might try to do something with this. It's really pretty. All right, moving along. Like, look how nice that would have been. <laughs> that makes me so sad. But yeah, it's broken. Okay, sorry. I'm spending way too much time on this. This is just a plastic bead necklace that is broken. Does that say something? Nope, just dense. All right, we're almost done, guys. Oh, look, perfume. <laughs> what the hell? Atelier cologne? I don't know. I don't even want to open that. That's kind of weird. That's weird. St. Thomas with a bobby pin, $3.99. I mean, it's brand new. <sighs> throw the bobby pin out. Throw this out. That's doo doo. Mm, I'll put that in mystery. Uh, craft. This looks like a locket. Please don't have a kid picture in it. Please don't have a kid picture in it. Ah! <laughs> this is great. <laughs> oh my God, that's awesome. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> that really just made my night. Babe, yeah. come here. <laughs> I have to show my husband. So, even though I'm in the middle of filming, I have to show you this. What do you think is inside this locket? A picture. Of who? A lady. No. <laughs> like, what the hell? That's too funny. All right, guys. So, there you go. If you want it, I'll take the picture of Mr. Obama out. <laughs> that was pretty funny. This is cute. Um, I'll put this into mystery. It's in good shape. <laughs> that was so funny. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh, this is Swarovski. Yay. So there's a little swan right there. Oh, yay. I might keep this because you guys know I sell Swarovski, right? So now I can wear it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to keep it. Um, so if anyone wants it, uh, I don't know. I'd probably do 10 on this. Swarovski is... It's pretty uh, valuable. Put that in there. Okay, now we're good. Boop. Nevada. Da -ba -ba. It says magnet. It's going into crafting. Ooh, this is pretty. So we have a geode here with a cool little clasp. I like that. I'll probably do eight bucks if somebody wants that. Craft. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's a shoe clip. That's awesome. It's missing a bunch of stones. Um, yeah, um, there's no more. There's no matches to any of these single earrings. I'm very upset. How, how are they going to do that to me? 
So let's get rid of all these. Craft, craft. I mean, they really shouldn't put things other than jewelry in here. I mean, it's kind of like... All right, we have a Celtic um, stick pin here. I know these are sometimes 14 karat or filled, negatory in this case. It'll just go into mystery. Let's see what this is. This I don't think is precious metal either. It's all kinds of chipping and peeling on the inside. So it'll go into craft. Oh, this is pretty. However, I think it's all it's supposed to all be black stones. And they have fallen out. And there's a missing pearl too. So that'll go into crafting as well. Oop, that one too. Okay, lastly. This is an earring? No way. This is huge. It's pretty cool. Scarf clip maybe? I don't know. Alright guys. I'm very disappointed at all these single earrings that don't have mates. Is this sterling, you think? Let's see. Maybe. All right. Well, if anybody wants all these single earrings, let me know. That's a J. Crew. Stinks. All right. Sorry, guys. No matchy matchy. All right. Let me know. I'll do like probably 10 bucks shipped for all this. Um, another chance resale one at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe, click like, ring that bell. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.